Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing some summonings. Um, I have some eggs. I've been farming golems for the last past little while. I do have some eggs saved up. So I wanted to do a little bit of summoning. And also today, um, I think something really, really exciting is the light contract is finally complete. So I will be able to get my light Odin today. Uh, originally, I was going to make her evil 2 plus 2. But however, I don't have any gleams anymore because I chose to basically give all my gleams to my fire Siegfried. I think it was a pretty good idea. I mean, the Fire Siegfried's really, really good for farming. Um, so, you know, I, she, he was he basically became, like, immediately useful to me. Now, for the Light Odin, I could probably still feed her three Light um, Army Holy Gleams and make her Evil 2. Um, but I can't make the other Odins that I have into Evil 2s to feed into her. So I'm not going to be able to make her Evil 2 plus 2. Um, I can't make her Evil 3 because I only have two other Odins. Should have chose the Wood Odin for the contract. I would have been able to make an Evil 3 Odin. And that that would have been pretty awesome. Um, you know, but the good thing is, like, you know, since I need one more Odin, there's a chance that maybe, like, you know, when I get my last Odin, it'll be a variant. And then it'll be, like, a dream come true. And I'll win the game. Probably not happening. Yeah, I'm just going to finish up this fight. Um, just been autoing Arena for the, the past little while. Just trying to, trying to get... Climb a few ranks. Um, you know, I do use this team quite a lot. Basically, is my is my auto PVP team for. I guess it works. It works pretty well all the way up to like challenger ish or master. It works pretty well up to up to that point. Um, just basically get us some aggressors and healers. You know, high uh, high resistance, and then you and then you win the game. All right, let's let's do some uh, let's do some summons. We're gonna do some pulls, and then I'm gonna finish up my light Odin contract, and then we're gonna see what slots she has. Um, I think that's the most exciting thing. Like, just when I when I finish complete the Odin contract and see what slot she has, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty big. Cause if she comes with like triple square or something, it's gonna be it's gonna be so amazing. Ooh, I got a I got a six star I got a six star gem. Let's see what this is. Yeah, no. Um, you know those 6-star gem boxes are like the most useful thing for like new players? Because you can get like a lot of uh, a lot, a lot of gems for free. Um, Alright, let's, uh, let's do some summons. Um, I should have made more room. I should have finished sliming that batch. But let's... Let's uh, let's pop these two first, and then we'll pop all the uh, all the normal eggs. Now my record is I think 84 eggs without a single four star. Let's see if we can uh, we can do that. Actually, wait, I don't have I don't have 84 eggs. We're gonna see if we can get close to that. All right, if I if I don't uh. If I don't have enough space, I'll do some rebirths as, as well. I, I still don't have a dark birdie. I, I really do want one. Actually, I want three if I can. Um, but it's going to be a little bit hard because it's like it takes 30 to get the guaranteed. And then there's also the Mihos on the list as well. So it's like it's doubly hard. I want to get one more Miho and I want to see if I can get like three dark birdies. Um, possibly four. The, the, birdie, the birdies are really good because you can use them for PvP. Um, in the, in the clan battles. Ooh, I got a variant Yaksha. Ooh, it's a level 4 lead as well. It's not, it's not too bad. That's, that's pretty good. I'll take it. I don't really think I need a stronger lead Yaksha. I'm thinking of building a wood one. Um, a wood Yaksha to possibly test out some things in dragon speed 10 i don't think i really need to improve my dragon speed 10 team it's already it's already near perfect actually like it the like to make my team perfect all i would need to do is um like max skill book my my thor and uh and coco but besides that i don't really need much i'm getting some i'm getting some lightnings i think this is a i think it's a lucky day A lot of variants too. I think those are good for uh, for rebirth because the the birdies aren't farmable. So like to try to get a good leader skill is is pretty important. I'm gonna try to rebirth a lot of birdies, um, and also the birdies are usable monsters. Like for for the past few rebirths, I 
mo mostly just been doing them just to get like the Heroes Fest Rebirth material. Like I need four stars. But I think this time I'm going to try to use actually use some of these monsters. Um, you know, if I can get one more Dark Miho, that would be perfect. I would be able to use the Dark Miho in... Um, I would be able to use one Dark Miho for clan defense and then like three for offense. Um, I'm planning to do the same thing with the birdies as well because the, the birdies are actually pretty good aggressors. They do, they do quite a lot of damage. But at, at, at least I want to try to get three. I want to get another Dark Miho with like maybe possibly better stats and then like put her on Siphon because I, I think she'll do pretty well on Siphon as well. Or possibly Pugilist. I could also put her on Pugilist. Man, never lucky. Actually, wait, I just got lucky twice. I'm, I'm looking for a perfect variant lead Cupid. So, I, like, because my Cupid's lead is only level 5. I'm trying to see if I can find a level 6 lead for Cupid. That would be amazing. Um, what else is a leader skill that I would really want? Maybe a higher um, higher leader skill for Loki as well. That would be really useful. Cause my my light Loki only has a only has a level one lead. It's still pretty useful, but it's not it's not as good. Getting a lot of variant three stars. I think that's that's actually pretty nice. Ooh, there we go. Oh, what? Oh, there, there we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's not expecting that. I don't even know what the Witch Shinobi does. It's got an SP Siphon Adrenaline. Yeah, no. Just, um, it's 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 all right. It's it's pretty good. I'll like I'll like feed him into the the a fire future fire one that I get. Probably. Still not five. I'll take it. All right, there we go. That I was feeling lucky today. Ah oh, man, my inventory's full. Um. Mona's all right. Don't worry, I'm a professional. Been doing this for, I've been doing this for years. Trust me. I don't think I need the light pen pen anymore. He can, I can throw him in the grinder as well. Come on. Oh, there we go. Dang it, wrong color. Ugh, wrong color. You guys must think I'm like, I'm the pickiest asshole ever. You just got a nat five, why can't you be happy? You just rebirthed the four star, why aren't you happy? Oh, there we go, let's, let's see if uh, See, see, this thing has a square slot. Actually, let's let's finish this batch first. I might as well finish the batch. Um, Supply. All right, just uh, just feed all these. I'll probably build a light one as well, just to just to have it. It's it's a pretty good monster, actually. The light birdie. It's not too bad. Which shinobi, huh? The the problem with Shinobi is like if he if he was an AOE monster, um, he'd be so much better. Like if this was like say for example, um, an AOE and then like a team heal, like he'd be amazing because like this is only a single target skill and it only heals for thirty percent of his own max HP. Um, 
So like, only he heals when he does this, and then it's only single target, so like it's not as good on Pugilist. And his only special thing is the SP Siphon. But like, if this was an AoE heal, like the same skill as like the Wind Nightmare second skill, he, he would actually be better because he's he's got really good stats as well. Like look at look at this. It's so tanky. And then he can steal SP, which would fuck up a lot of like dark morale boosters. Like people running Gatito, Mona, or Sarah or or Mari. It just fucks them so hard. But no. So close. Yet so far. Alright, this is a double triangle. Um Usable, but not ideal. Well, I mean, I still have a whole entire month to rebirth. So, like, if this is the only one I have, I'll, I'll build this one. The The thing is, like, why I want four aggressors of the same type is um, I want to use them, like, one for defense. Because I have one Miho that's, like, gemmed a little bit better than the others. Like, this one's pretty good. It's got 76% resist from subs. Um, so, I'm, tr I'm trying to see if I can put her on, um, you know, like, like, I'm probably going to super evolve her first, and then I'll put her on my defense team for clan, and, um, the other two Mihos I'll use for, like, offense and stuff. And then, like, because you can have three attacks in clan battles, so you want to have, like, three aggressors, and you can't use the same monster, so I would use one in each team. So what, what I would do is, like, I would have, like, a glass cannon team, and then, like, an aggressor team. Um, for each of each of my three attack teams, because the the glass cannon teams can beat almost anyone, same as the aggressor comp. Um, just depends on RNG. Sometimes RNG goes really badly and you lose, but there's there's no helping that. Um, but most of the time, you should be able to to beat like most of everyone. So um, I'm gonna try to get one more aggressor because that's the maximum amount of mihos I can use. And also, I can do like a cupid, and then like I can hide like like if I want to be super troll in um, PvP defense, I can like run Dark Cupid and then like run like three Dark Mihos. I think that would be the ultimate defense team, like Dark Cupid lead and then like three super evolved Dark Mihos, like fully max max skill booked and then like all on Pugilist, that would be amazing. All right, let's, let's, let's finish up the summons and then uh, finish up the rebirths. Then we'll finish up the Odin contract and we'll see what slots she has. I'm hoping for triple square as usual, but uh, probably not happening. I just, I just need, I just need a perfect lead Cupid to complete my life. That is so not happening. A Cupid with a perfect vari variant skill. Now I'm getting greedy. I still remember the the, the the good old days back in the day when my Cupid wasn't a variant, and I was like the uh, the only thing that would complete my life is a variant Cupid. And then like I kept getting variant Cupids. I, I kept feeding Cupids into him, like upgrading his leader skill every time I got a new one. And now he's like he has a level five leader skill, but. I want that level 6 lead. You know what I think is the rarest thing in, in Monster Super League? Ooh, nice. Very Victoria. Level lead, level 2 lead is not that good, but whatever. Good enough. Ooh. There we go. That's a... Uh, Another Kira. I don't know. I, I'm feeling pretty lucky today. Like I, I got a whole bunch of uh, variant Nat fours. I got a Nat five. Also rebirth, um, a lot of uh, a lot of four stars as well on the rebirth. Maybe I'll get super lucky on my Odin. Have a triple square slot light Odin. She would be so easy to gem. I would put her on Pugilist, and she'd be like the most disgusting thing ever. Most of my good pugilist gems are square slots. They just happen to be. Like I've been farming B10, which like drops all all the slots. But like every time I get like a triangle gem, 
even in B10, um, it just it goes to shit. Like it always goes to shit, and then all my square slot gems just automatically like you know 20 plus resist. You know, it's just it's it's fucked up. I I don't know. It's weird. It's like this game. It's like biased towards square slots. Like square is the only slot only slot that has crit. And like B8 is like the fastest place to farm, so like everyone has more square gems. Same with Dragons B7 as well. And B4. Like they only drop square. Like those those stages are super easy. Like all the stages that are easy to farm always drop square. And uh and for some weird ass reason, like when you're farming a stage that drops all gem slots, like it mo still drops mostly square and all, all your other gems go to shit, except for square. It's pretty weird. It makes no sense. Alright, 15 more eggs. See if we can, uh... Oh man, I'm full. Alright, let's, uh... Let's, let's do some professional rebirthing. I should actually lock that coal, just to be safe. You know, I might have, like, rebirthed one or two colts by accident. <laughs> I, I might have. I, I don't remember. But in the back of my mind, like in, in my subconscious, I feel like I have. You guys ever get that feeling? Alright, we'll do a... We'll do a no birdie rebirth. And this is a... Uh, this is pretty unlucky. All right. You're probably watching this, you're like, Fanta, you just got like two variant nat fours. You got a nat five. You got like multiple nat fours. And you got a dark miho with a square slot. Why are you still complaining? It's not, it's not what I want. I'm picky now. I've been spoiled. I want to. I want a perfect lead Cupid. That's what I want. Not a single percent less. It has to be level six lead. And I want a variant Odin. And a variant purse. Alright, I think my luck ran out. I've used it too much. So I haven't summoned in so many days, and now like I'm s summoning all of a sudden. I'm like super strong. Ah, oh, not a variant. So close. Matt, stop. Mm. No birdie. We'll do this. I'm a picky, ungrateful bastard. Alright, that's what I am. This is this is the luckiest most ungrateful summoning session ever. There we go. Ooh, it's a variant Sura. Ooh, it's got a level one lead. God damn it. So sad. Alright. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm an asshole. Alright, I'm an asshole. Let's uh let's do this. Variant Oh, I mean, uh, Odin Contract, you're the first one I've re ever felt really comfortable around. And you even finished the contract. I think we're gonna have a great time together. Let's have fun, master. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Please, please, triple square, triple square, triple square. Fuck! No! What? 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 Oh, oh, oh my god, I was, I was, uh... 
Oh my god, what? Are you... Fuck. Alright, uh... Fuck me. I have, I have like, nothing to use. Alright, this, this thing's got... 16% resist. Like, just... Like, 34. 134. 48. Oh my god. Alright, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm asking for too much, right? I'm asking for way too much. Did my Shinobi have squares? Oh, he had one of each. I have, like, no gems for her. I, I don't have any good HP gems. These are, like, my only ones. They're pretty shitty. Someone's got 14. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked. Uh... Wait, maybe I have some Conviction Gems I can give her. She's got 14% crit, some defense, no resist, pretty sad. Um, someone's got 20, oh, this is an attack gem. Yeah, I have, I have no gems for her. We're gonna probably have to steal some gems from someone if I want to use her. Um, uh, fuck me. Alright. We're, I'm just, I'm, I'm probably just gonna let, let her chill there for a bit. Uh, yeah, back, back to farming, back to farming. That was, that was tilting. I'm an ungrateful bastard. All right. I'm asking for a lot. It's funny because Light Odin used to be considered like the worst Nat Four or Nat Five, like Light Dark Nat Five. But now she's like super top tier. Right, let me just let me take my anger out on this this guy, whoever he is. This mystery combatant, Dark Moonflower, this motherfucker, trying to make me salty. Oh my god, Dark Moonflower, so tanky. I call hacks. You know, after using Dark Yaksha for a long time, I made the realization that her second skill is complete ass. How does this spark it keep stunning me when I have like 70-ish plus resist on everybody? I think my Cupid is 80. How the hell is he always stunning me? Hmm, is this, is it, will, will I be able to kill the, that wood valk? Yeah, I will. Cupid does too much damage. Yaksha's too shitty, I, I don't know. I, I think I should stop using her. I'll, I'll go hunt for a wood mammoth. And then use that instead. The silence is so fucking bad. <laughs> I think for my PvP team, I should just run two Mihos. Yeah, Dark Cube is so fucking OP. Just, just think about it. He's got shield, which is like the strongest buff. And his shield is the... The thickest shield out of every monster in the game. Like he has the, has the highest HP pool 
um, out of all the like like compared to like Venus and Light Hana, he has the highest HP pool. And um, he's dark, so he's very good with dark offense teams. And he has an HP lead, being an HP aggressor, plus his uh, HP thing skills with HP is like super good. And then having both the aggression and the shield um, on the same monster that scales with HP and has an HP lead is like super fucking OP. Um, and then like he's an HP aggressor, so like even with him being a healer, he still does a lot, lot of damage. So like, <laughs> it's, it's so fucking broken. I'll just do this and super evolve all of them in the future and win game. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I did my summonings. I'm actually really, really lucky, but like, I don't know. I feel empty inside. I don't know why I feel empty inside. I, I was super lucky today. Like, I got a whole bunch of... I got a nat 5. I got three variant nat 4s. I summoned a dark miho with a square slot. Um, yet I'm still feeling so unsatisfied. I think, I think I've just been spoiled. I'm an ungrateful bastard. That's what I am. Wait, did, did was this Arthur in the open or did he hide it? Was this guy a dirty Arthur hider? I think I'll regen my other two Mihos and make them uh, have a lot higher resist. And then I'll run that as my new as my PvP defense team. I need a triple square dark birdie. I'll run it like crit double HP pugilist. Will be like the most disgusting thing ever. Actually, I can run triple HP pugilist as well. Just make it like tankier, and then I'll pair it up with like dark mihos. So like you can hit the mihos first, who has higher threat, or you can hit the cupid. Or not the Cupid, uh, the, the Spark It, or not Spark It, uh, what the fuck was this? Oh, the Birdie, yes. You can hit the Birdie, and then the Birdie would have, like, the Birdie would be super sick. Ooh, he's got a Dark Arthur, what the fuck? Holy shit. That's some OP shit. You know, I should, I should be a little bit more serious. I'll start trolling next week. I'm losing too much with these Seras. Uh, where's my Cupid? Cupid... 1% away from perfection. So sad. Um, yeah, run two, two Mihos. Wait, which one's my Ruin one? No, not this one. This one's my Ruin one. And then I'll run, uh, I'll run Shiva. Dang it, where's my Shiva? Run Shiva and then and then run a uh and and then hide my C star. I don't think Wood Nightmare is top tier anymore. Like she's not she's not good in the meta anymore. Too many uh Like it used to be not that many dark attackers, now it's like super insane. And there's a lot of strong light attackers as well now. So like like, say for example, the other guy brings like three Lyceros, they can kill my Miho in one turn. Or kill my Cupid in one turn. And same with the Birdie as well, like the, the Birdie's a pretty strong light attacker. There's a lot of strong light attackers that counter the uh, uh, Dark Aggressor defenses. And then, the thing with the light attackers is if they, if you use them to fight like a... Or one thing I've noticed, like running multiple Seros on offense, is if you use them to fight like a full light team, um, the full light team isn't as threatening, especially if the full light team is like all tanks. So like they're running like light Shiva, light Succubus lead or some shit like that, and then like two other light monsters. Um, basically what you can do is you can still focus down the aggressor first, and then you, like everybody else is, has like no threat. So like basically that, those types of teams counter like the top, top tier off offenses, but uh, you can use like a light attack team to to counter those type of teams 
as well. So like, I think the meta's changing. What should I do? Damn, I'm, I'm revealing all my strategy to you guys. Oh yeah, I should still hide my sea star because this one, this sea star, like, I don't, I don't think she's really meta, but I just happen to have one with like really, really good gems. So I'm just, I'm just using it. I think this is, this is a new, uh, this is a new meta. It's kind of like his, his offense, kind of, or his, his defense, but like not as, with not as rare monsters. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.